Are you ready to be disappointed? Because I'm ready to be disappointed. I actually am already disappointed because Steven just took to Discord to tell us that we are no longer going to be seeing the nodes in July, aka next week. It has been pushed back. Intrepid needs some more time with that cake in the oven so it's nice and ready for us to eat and digest and do all of those things that you are going to do with a node cake once they finally reveal the biggest system that Ashes of Creation has. So you may be wondering, well, what are we going to see next week? Well, it's something that nobody would have predicted. Nobody's expected this. And Intrepid is going to show us... Drum roll? I don't have a drum roll. The Cleric Showcase. Yes, the Cleric. The guy we haven't seen in such a long, long time. AKA back last November in what I thought was probably the worst showcase Intrepid had given us in all of 2022 because 2022 was a hype year. They had seasons, they had character creator, we had the new world map, we had the ranger, we had the fighter, we had the combat revamp. We had so many systems getting us hyped and getting us thinking that Intrepid is so far along in this game. And then the cleric showcase came in November and it was not very well put together. They didn't explain the class that much. The graphics looked really unfinished in that area they were in where they fought undead and we really talked a lot about constellations and lore and not as much of the cleric that i'd like to see and steven also did what steven does best and aggroed absolutely everything so giving the cleric another shot is a great way to do it i actually wanted this one when they did the mage showcase and they did that structure of breaking down each ability first and then having the actual class designer play the class and show how it's meant to be played i want to see that with all the classes that we or all of the archetypes that we've already seen so it sounds like we're gonna get that chance again because this cleric showcase is supposed to show us 18 abilities of the cleric we before saw five or six abilities so that is a huge huge increase and now we can actually learn with 16 abilities what healing in ashes of creation is going to be all about healing is a very important role within the game and something that intrepid really needs to do justice i used to be a healer back in the day and then you know i got abused too much from everybody blaming me from the wipes even though it was definitely the tank's fault not my fault and so now i just play mage but i really want to see the healer i would love to get back into it in ashes of creation so we will have to see how that goes not only that but we are seeing a brand new area as well in the game i presume it's probably still in the riverlands but it is an area that steven referred to as the fabled ruins of the highwayman hills so what this is no idea it's probably some ruined castles and things like that with some highwaymen hidden within it ready to be slaughtered ready to be called to Stephen's aggro radius as he walks in the area and they all swarm him and probably murder him i've already done the whole spew of what i want from the cleric back in november when we knew that was coming so i am not going to go through all of that again in the next week Stephen also said on discord that the mage fighter and tank and ranger are all similarly developed but waiting on love from visual effects and sound effects so we might be seeing some revamps of these guys down the road too. The fighter is the one I really want the most of because we saw the least display of the fighter class through all of the reveals. The fighter was mixed in with the melee combat showcase and really it was more of a focus on the melee combat and the new updated combat and not the fighter. We didn't even see the fighter abilities names. There was, new, there was no UI present at that time. We saw no action bar, nothing like that. So I'm glad that Intrepid is revisiting some of these. But what does this mean? Well, if the node showcase is not ready, then obviously my completely accurate, not copium filled predictions of Alpha 2 being this year, they could, could be pushed back a little. Maybe it's January now, you know? Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alpha 2, January 2024. Don't quote me. This ultimately, though, is a good thing because the node showcase is supposed to be massive. It's the biggest system Ashes of Creation has to offer. It ties into absolutely everything within the world of Vera, from cities to dungeons, raids, 
to points of interest on the map, to story arcs that unlock, to social organizations, caravans, everything. It has a branch into every one of these systems, and Intrepid wants to do that showcase justice. So pushing it back a month is not a bad thing. It's probably a good thing because it will give us an even better look at the node showcase come the end of August now. So let me know your thoughts on seeing an updated cleric next week on Friday in the Ashes of Creation developers update. Also, I will be live here on YouTube again, doing a live stream watch party. If you guys want to tune into that, you don't have to, but it's kind of fun to do for me. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.